All right, so I got my OA Jeep Wrangler here. I've been dealing with a misfire on cylinder six. And um, I've already replaced the spark plug. The wires aren't that old. The spark plug I replaced really wasn't that old either. Uh, they think they might have had like maybe 5,000 miles on them. Uh, maybe a little bit more. But uh, I went ahead and did the uh, spark plug first. And again, the wires aren't that old either. And uh, cleared the check engine light. I think it's a P0306. I think that's what it is. I, don't, I gotta go double check. But anyways, it's it's number six, which is the guy back here. It's misfiring, and it's uh, using uh, my code reader. Uh, it'll show me some freeze frame data, and it's actually misfiring on cold startup, um, the initial startup. So I went ahead and just decided to go get a new coil because I cleared it, drove it around for a little while, and it's fine. And now it's coming back. So I think the coil pack is failing. This one has 180,000 miles. It's pretty simple to replace. All it is is some 10 millimeter bolts here. You have two of them and the whole coil will come off. I'm gonna remove the plug wires. Just kind of remember what order they're in. And then you have a connector back there. And that's it. The one I went with is just one I got off Amazon. Um, it's supposed to have like a year warranty. I'll leave a link down in the description box for it. But uh, go ahead and keep the box, keep this, and um, you know, it was like 30 bucks I think, which is a little cheaper than what's at the, the uh, auto parts store. I don't like to buy anything from AutoZone, so I didn't want to do that, so I just went with something like this. And this one's cool because it's labeled also. But yeah, so I'm going to save the old one in the box. and. Uh, for about a year then I'll throw it away after the warranty's up but uh, the one I picked off of Amazon uh, had good reviews they had one that was like five or six dollars cheaper and it had some reviews how it failed after three months so that's why I went with this one but yeah pretty simple just some tins right here a quick swap and uh, hopefully that fixes the misfire problem if it if it doesn't then I probably have a bigger problem somewhere and I'll get into that a different day What I'm gonna do so I don't mix these up. I'm gonna take them apart and just put them on the new one right away. A little dielectric grease in here will keep these guys uh, from corroding or anything like that if you're worried about that, but I'm not too worried about it. There's probably a little bit in here already. These are some Denso spark plug wires. I'm just doing this because I don't want to mix them up. This one will just stick to the side there. This one will stick to the side here. And we'll just remember that this light gray one is on the bottom. And the connector has a little safety clip. Let's push it up. Disconnect it there. No problem. I'll take these guys out.
All right, well that's pretty much it. With the coil change, and that should fix my misfire. Here's the old one. We'll take a look at that real quick. This is the old factory one. Got 180,000 miles on this guy. So, pretty sure that's the cause. You guys take care, be safe. Have a great weekend.